Hi everyone, this is Frank Westfall, and in this video, I'm gonna show you how to switch between a UEFI bootable disc with Windows 11 on it, and a legacy bootable disc. Uh, in this case, I have Windows 10 on it. So I actually have two different hard disks, or solid state drives, actually. On this one, I have Windows 11, and on the one in my computer currently, in my laptop, I have Windows 10 running on a legacy boot partition. And if you're wondering how to create the Windows 11 bootable disk like this, or the Windows 10 bootable disk that I have in this before I switch it out, I have two other videos that show how to do a full clean install of Windows 10, and another one that shows a full clean install of Windows 11. So if you need to do a fresh installation of either of these operating systems, I have comprehensive tutorials. Please check them out in my computer tutorials playlist. First, I'm just gonna boot this up and show you Windows 10 on it. Windows 10 Pro. So this is booting in legacy boot mode right now in the BIOS. That's how I'm able to boot this legacy partition. The firmware that I have on this computer can boot either legacy or UEFI bootable partitions. So I'm gonna shut it down. I'm gonna install the disc with Windows 11 on it. I'm going to go into the BIOS settings upon startup, switch to UEFI mode, and boot right into Windows 11. Shut down. Wait till it's completely off. All right, it's off. Flip it over, pull the disc out. This is my Windows 10 disk. This is my Windows 11 disk, and it is formatted in GPT, which is a UEFI bootable partition scheme. Gonna install that back into the computer. All right, so now if we try to boot this without switching to UEFI mode, it's not gonna be bootable. I'll just let it try to boot and show you what it looks like. Invalid partition table, okay? That's because in legacy mode, it can only boot an MBR partition. It's looking for an MBR partition, but there's only a GPT partition on this disk. And in legacy mode, GPT partitions cannot be booted. For the GPT partition to be bootable, I need to switch to UEFI mode. So I'm gonna power off, power back on, F2 for settings. I'm gonna go into boot sequence, hit enter, and I'm gonna switch to UEFI. When you're in legacy mode, it's going to show you the legacy options. In UEFI mode, it's going to show you the UEFI options. Each one of these is only going to show what's bootable under that mode. So I'm going to leave it on UEFI, hit apply, exit, it's going to reboot. And here we are, running Windows 11. I'll log in. And here we are, Windows 11. So, if you have two disks, you can easily switch between your trusty, reliable Windows 10 operating system, which is what I'm doing. Windows 10 is my workhorse. I, I know how it's gonna function. There aren't any questions about it. With Windows 11, there's a lot that I still have to learn and I might have to play around with settings. And if I'm working on a project, I don't wanna be playing around with computer settings. I wanna be getting a project done. So depending on whether or not I wanna play around with stuff, I'll put Windows 11 in if I wanna do that or if I wanna make a video on it. 
and if I want to get stuff done, I switch back to my Windows 10 because like all operating systems, the bugs are going to be getting worked out over the next year. I don't want the liability of having to work out bugs or having to work through issues on Windows 11, but I do want to learn to navigate it cleanly and efficiently and to learn all the different changes that are in it. So I use it, but I don't use it for my production systems. Thank you for watching. I hope this was helpful. Please like, comment, and subscribe for more computer tutorial videos as well as a variety of other videos. I have some really cool ones coming up.